evening. My name is Grant Robinson. I'm coming to you on behalf of the Colonel's Leadership Council. I'm a retired Lieutenant Colonel and I've practiced law for 28 years. The leadership trait I want to discuss with you this evening is the ability to inspire others. I'm going to use that by showing you a clip from a movie called A Few Good Men. It starred Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise, and Demi Moore. It was a movie about two Marines on trial for murdering another Marine. Tom Cruise leads the defense team. He's a lieutenant in, in the JAG Corps. And the position of the defense is that the two soldiers were innocent. They were given an order by the commander, Colonel Nathan Jessup, played by Jack Nicholson. The command itself, or the order, was referred to in Marine jargon as a code red. And the soldiers attempt, attempted to discipline the substandard soldier, and in their attempt, uh, the young Marine dies. So leading up to this clip, Tom Cruise, Lieutenant Caffey, learns that their star witness, Colonel Jessup's executive officer, Lieutenant Colonel Markinson, commits suicide. And at that point, Tom Cruise is done. He comes back to the apartment where uh, Lieutenant Weinberg, another assistant counsel, and Demi Moore, Lieutenant Galloway, Lieutenant Commander Galloway, are discussing the case. And he announces it's over. It's over. Markinson is dead. We have no case. And then Demi Moore makes the suggestion, well, why don't we just call Colonel Jessup to the stand? And then Tom Cruise has an absolute meltdown. But we see this all the time in real life where someone we want to get to do something that we know they have the ability to do is so down and out on themselves and, 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 and has lost so much faith that we have to find a way to inspire them. So I want you to watch this clip and observe how Sam Weinberg, the other assistant counsel, attempts to inspire Lieutenant Caffey, Tom Cruise. Stand and you get it from him. Oh, we get it from him. Yes, no problem. We get it from him. Colonel Jessup, isn't it true that you ordered the cold red on Santiago? There's some rolling. Eh, I'm sorry, your time's run out. What do we have for the losers, Judge? Well, for our defendants, it's a lifetime at exotic Fort Leavenworth. And for defense counsel, Kathy, that's right, it's a court martial. Yes, Johnny, after falsely accusing a highly decorated Marine officer of conspiracy and perjury. Lieutenant Kathy will have a long and prosperous career teaching typewriter maintenance at the Rocco Colombo School for Women. Thank you for playing. Should we or should we not follow the advice of the galactically stupid? Sorry I lost your set of steak knives. Father proud of you? Don't do this to yourself. I bet he is. I bet he bores the hell out of the neighbors and the relatives. Sam's made law review. He's got a big case he's making. He's arguing. He's making an argument. I think my father would have enjoyed seeing me graduate from law school. He would have liked that an awful lot. Did I ever tell you you wrote a paper about your father in college? Yeah. One of the best trial lawyers ever. Yes. 
He was. And if I were Dawson and Downey, and I had a choice between you or your father to represent me in this case, I'd choose you any day of the week and twice on Sunday. You should have seen yourself thunder away, Kendrick. Did you put Jessup on the stand? No. Did you think my father would? With the evidence we got? Not in a million years. But here's the thing. There's really no way of getting around this. Neither Lionel Caffey nor Sam Weinberg are lead counsel for the defense in the matter of U.S. versus Dawson and Dan. So there's really only one question. What would you do? in the clip how he uses the memory of his father to inspire him. He doesn't try to persuade him with uh, bloviated platitudes. Get out there. You're the best. Do your thing. He, he narrows it down. He doesn't say that you're the greatest lawyer of all time. He says you're the right guy at the right time in the right place. And if I were those two Marines on trial for my life, you would be the guy I would select for this moment in time. This is your time to shine. Get out there and do it. And we find that a lot as leaders. We have to sometimes find ways to inspire people when they're at their, sometimes when they're at their lowest. And in this case, he found the right combination of things to get Lieutenant Caffey to realize that it doesn't matter what he thinks, that is Weinberg, or what his father would do. It's what would you do? And that's my leadership lesson for the evening. Thank you.